blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure DHCP snooping using Cisco packet tracer all right and before we do that uh, let me open the Google spreadsheet I let you know that today we're number 13 DHCP snooping right okay so before we go into uh, into the cons configuration part it's very very important that we learn or we understand what DSCP snooping is okay and through this diagram that I just drew that I drew you can predict or gaze what DSCP snooping configuration is trying to prevent you can see I have a legitimate legitimate DSCP server here and a fake DSCP server here okay so you can just try to gaze what DHCP snooping is trying to prevent okay all right, so I'll open Google. I will open uh, notes to understand what DCP uh, uh, snooping means. So DCP snooping is kind of a layer two technology that is trying to prevent uh, unauthorized servers from accessing our network. Okay, maybe the ARC server, right? The ARC has a server that uh, is trying to provide IP addresses to. The computers in the network so that's what dcp snooping is trying to prevent although dcp dcp is a layer 3 uh, technology okay although dcp is a layer 3 technology but dcp snooping operates at layer 2 okay and we see here above it's a protection from untrusted host that wants to become dcp server just like in our topology here for example, this fake server is trying to uh, become our server, okay? Now, the switch should be able to prevent this one from becoming DHCP server. Suppose it was the ARCAS DHCP server, right? Okay, so the notes goes on to say that to protect host within uh, the organization network to establish a connection from uh, from establishing a connection from unauthorized rogue DHCP servers, we need to implement DHCP snooping on the layer two switches. Okay, so the concept of DHCP snooping based, you know, is, is based on trusted or untrusted ports. So we only place a DHCP server on a trusted port. So by default, all other ports will be untrusted, and they cannot send any DHCP. I mean, they cannot um, they cannot allocate host devices IP addresses because they are they are attached to untrusted port we are going we are only going to attach our dcp server on a trusted port and by default if a port is not at is not configured as trusted then it becomes untrusted and therefore and therefore this one will be will be blocked because it's attached to untrusted port so without any further ado i'll open uh, notepad and uh, I like the few steps that we are going to follow to achieve this objective okay all right so the first step is always to draw uh, the necessary topology decorate and comment it's a very simple topology that I drew and uh, I didn't make any con I didn't make any I didn't make any configuration so far what I did was just to draw the topology and decorate it okay so the second step is to configure IP addresses to the router's interface and the DCP server, okay? So we're going to configure IP address to this router's interface, this interface, okay? That is attaching to this switch and we're going to configure IP address to this server here and maybe to the fake server, okay? All right, so let's do this. So this interface is um, gig00. So I go to gig00. Uh, we just say enable, then config T interface gig 0 slash 0 okay uh, interface interface okay then you assign it appear this IP address let's assign it to 192.168.1.1 so let's mask of 255.255.255.0 okay okay and you can see it's down it's blinking red so meaning by default it's in shutdown state so let's turn it up no shutdown you just say no shut that's all all right and remember the appearance of this interface 
should act as the default gateway of these devices, right? All right, so let's assign IP address to this server. I go here and here and uh, 192.168.1.100, something like that. And the yeah, and, um, default gateway should be the IP address of that router, okay? Of this router here, okay? All right, so I close it and also I configure this server here with the same IP address of that of the server, of the DCP server, okay? Let's say this is the hacker's DCP server. So it wants to, uh, so let's say this server wants to ma masquerade as this server here. So just the same IP address and that subnet mask and the default gateway. That's done. So we go back to a uh, configure it. Configure simple DCP server device. So we need to configure this DCP server to provide IP addresses to these host devices. Very, very simple. We just go to that DCP server, okay? We come to services, you come to DCP. I'll repeat again. You click on this server, then you come to services, okay? Then you come to DCP here. Then you do what is called pools. So you uh, you create pools. Pools is what uh, the computers will be will be using to access IP addresses. So the pool con contains a lot of IP addresses that will be assigned to these computers. So let's say this should be. Uh, let's let's assume it's a, a test pool, okay? And the default gateway. Don't 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 forget the IP address of this router. The, the interface that is attaching to the switch, okay? All right. The DNS server is not a must here. Then starting IP address, I want them to start, I want it to start allocating from dot 10, okay? Then uh, subnet mask remain the same and just click add. So you can see we have a test pool here uh, with the default gateway of this one and set IP address of that one, okay? So if I go to these computers and uh, I click DCP, I come to this and I click to DCP. I also come to this and I click to DCP. Then they should be able to obtain IP addresses from the DCP server that you just configured. Okay. All right. So I'll just request again. Oh, I forgot to do something. I forgot to, I can't remember. Just go to go back to DCP server and come to DCP and don't forget. Turn it on. I didn't turn it on. Just turn it on. Okay. Okay. So now it's okay. So if I go back here and try to request again, I believe it will get a peer desk. You can see it has a peer desk DCP request successful. And also here, um, just a minute, come to desktop and uh, come to DCP. It should be able to get a peer desk. You see? All right. Okay. So, um, I'm also going to configure this server the same way I've done to this, okay? So I click here. Uh, this one was supposed to start from dot 10. Um, yes, yes. So no problem. So I just go to this server here. And uh, I come to services. Come to DCP. And uh, I just modify this as uh, the address of the router. That one remains that way and should be start from 10 okay and you just save or you had you just save okay so if i try to connect this server here and disconnect this one then i wait until this one turns a green i will try to request ip address again and you will see it will receive ip address don't forget to turn it on turn the service on i'm forgetting too much okay all right so let's wait until it turns green then i try to request again okay so you can see it has turned green so i'll go back to this this pc come to dcp i come back here and click dcp you will see it will receive a peer address from that you see okay all right so also this one it will receive IP address from the fake DCP server. So that's a security risk. We only want this server to be able to provide IP addresses to, to this network, but not this server.
okay all right so let's just connect them let's just connect all of them and uh, i'll just go back here and do a quick a quick uh, modification uh in this other pool because i created another pool that is called test pool so in this other pool i'll just turn everything to zero 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 so that i don't want to say uh, into a same ip address that i don't uh, i didn't allocate yeah so just okay so we wanted to use this pool originally it was using server pool okay so i wanted to use this pool here okay all right so if even i come here and kill this one come back here and try to request i just wanted to take ip address in this range okay i wanted to use the right pool okay now it's now using the right pool all right so let's i'll open the notepad again enable dcp snooping on the switch how do you enable dcp snooping on the switch very very simple so just come to switch come to cli and enable config t now let's enable uh dcp snooping on this switch so just say ip dcp snooping uh then we request we we query and there's nothing it just hit enter okay this command enables DCP snooping on the switch, right? All right. So identify and configure ports as trusted ports, okay? Assign IP DCP snooping to the VLAN it's currently being used, okay? All right. So we need to identify, number five, we need to identify and configure ports as trusted ports. So basically, I just want to this port and this port to be trusted port, okay? Because maybe let's say the our DCP was uh, uh, just a minute. I just wanted to show labels. Okay, okay. So I want F1 and F2 to be trusted ports because maybe our DCP server can be on attached to this router. So the host will be passing through this this interface to request IP address. So it's only this IP, this interface, and this one that should be the trusted port. Once we configure this and this as trusted port, all other ports will be untrusted. Okay. So we just go here and we just say interface range FA0 slash 1 to 2 because you can see it's FA0 1 and 2. Then you say IP DSCP snooping to be as trusted ports. Okay. All right, then we just uh, exit. All right, that's done. Then when you come back here, assign IP DCP snooping to VLAN that is currently being used. So basically I've not configured any VLAN on this switch. So the default VLAN, if I can just do show VLAN, the default VLAN is always VLAN 1. All these ports belong to the default VLAN 1. So we just say IP DCP snooping vlan um just a minute vlan one okay and do it so guys we are done configuring dhcp snooping and only this port and this port are trusted ports the only trusted ports will be able to allow us to request ip addresses but not any other port so what i'm going to do let me request from this this computer again i try to request uh, you can see it has an ip address so click i delete that one then let's try to plug in the fake dcp server oh i'm still using the fo2 fo2 you can remember it was trusted port so try to use a different port maybe f22 okay then plug into our server let's wait until this turns to um green and try to request remember okay, okay now it has turned green now let's try to request again i come back to this computer come to static and refresh let's just give it some time let's just give it some time you see it has failed although we configured this as our dcp server previously uh and again let's just give it some time let's just give it some time 
it fails. All right, so you clearly saw that when we configure port as trusted, it's only that port will be allowed to send any IP address to the host devices. But this was our untrusted port because uh, F1 and F2 were the trusted port. All, all other remaining ports by default will be untrusted. Okay, so that's how to configure IP DSCP snooping on a Cisco switch. And I will mark that module as completed. Okay, all right. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share with friends, like the video, and drop a comment below. Thank you so much, and let's meet again in the next class. Bye.